Good morning, it's Shelly with Gilbert Marketplace. And I wanted to jump on, oh geez, this morning to show you how we made these grungy candlesticks. Uh, and you can purchase these at the Dollar Tree. So you can find these candlesticks. And they're battery operated. So you can just um, keep that you know, so you can get the batteries in and out. What you'll also need is some cinnamon and Mod Podge and maybe a little dark paint. This is kind of a in case of deal. And then I buy the Rust-Oleum Dead Flat spray to put over top of it so you're not having cinnamon. It works really good. And then there's also um, I use some of this uh, ribbon. So let's get started. It's just a simple process. I know it looks a little more difficult than it is, but I just put a little bit of Mod Podge right on my plate. And then I put the cinnamon right next to it. Now you could do this several ways, um, but this is the way I do it. I just dip my Mod Podge in my cinnamon and then I kind of cluster it on there. Now you could take your Mod Podge and um, I'm clumping it on because I do want the texture. Now you could take your Mod Podge and roll it in your cinnamon. Some people do that too, that works. I just um, kind of cluster it on as I go along, especially up here at the top where um, you want it close but you don't want it on the candle. You could use a little tape if you don't think you can uh, get it there without making a mess. So I just kind of work around the candle and obviously down um, the candlestick. Now I do it in little sections like this. Like I said, I'm patting it on, kind of getting it real lumpy. And then, you know, I put some of the cinnamon over top. Now, as I get like this whole section is done on the top, then I take, because we're gonna need more of this anyway on our plate, and then I just put a little extra on top. So where the Mod Podge is, it will really, um, you know, clump on there. And that gives us, just give it a little tap, and that gives us our textured, you know, look. So you're gonna just repeat that step. I mean, it's really not a hard process. We're just gonna repeat that step all the way down and around the candle. Like I said, leaving it lumpy and clumpy. Now, if you get to the end and uh, you have um, not enough coverage, that's where um, I would say you could use a little bit of um, paint, you know, if you're, if you're seeing your candle. The other way to do it where you would positively have it all covered um, because you'll see a little bit of light spots in it. So if you, you know, just want to use a little paint, you could do that. Or you could just, like I said, go back and put more, you know, on. Uh, sometimes, you know, your first coat isn't really, you know, thick enough. It just depends on how grungy you want it to be. Uh, it's all personal preference. Like, you know, I, I like it, like I said, lumped on there, lumped on there. Also when you do this on your paper plate, it's going to get like dry and thick. I have taken some of the pieces and literally like clump them back on. Just use a little more Mod Podge and clump it back on. So you can see like there's big chunks on there. And like you can see on my plate how nasty it's getting. See right here, like you could literally take these and just clump them on. Sometimes I'll use my little nail and I'll just put them, like especially at the top, so like it looks like it kind of dripped down, you know, like a real candle would do that. Um, but I wait to do that till the end so my hands aren't all nasty. And like I said, if you need more Mod Podge, just keep adding it on. But I do a little at a time because like I said, it does get kind of thick and goopy. But that's what we're looking for. I mean, the grungier the better. So just kind of pat it on there and get it real thick and lumpy. Um, the Mod Podge is a matte, 
Um, I suppose you could use whatever you want, but uh, it looks better, I think, in a little bit matte, you know, personal preference, obviously. But uh, you could do whatever you, like I said, want. If it doesn't cover 100%, do a second coat. I just, it's looking great, you know, nice and plumps. And you'll see there's a couple little white spots, and like I said, if it dries and it's not covering, just, you know, you know, double your process. It works real good, you know, you can just go over it again and again. And the reason why I use that dead flat is, and it doesn't really take, I thought maybe it would take away the smell because the smell is so nice, you know, especially, um, I used it this year for my 4th of July decor. You can find that on uh, my page at uh, Gilbert Marketplace, but also I use these at Christmas time because they're nice for Christmas decorations too. Um, you can find also step by step instead of the video on my home talk um, tutorial page i write for home talk so you'll see all my tutorials on there and they um, want you to do it all uh, by pictures so if the video isn't something you like then uh, you can find that there also so we're almost done but i'm just going to Clumps more on here. As you can see, like I said, it's getting really thick and pasty. And that's the look, you know, we're going for. So I'll just clump that on the best I can. If you're finding it's not sticking, just use a little more Maj Podge. I might even just pour some on here. Just because I do want these clumps and see, you know, just pat them on there. We're just going to push all that right on there. And you can use nutmeg, you can use a few other, um, you know, um, spices to get, you know, different, you know, look or combination, but there's a few different ways you can do this. But I'm going to uh, stop right there just so we don't have to waste time on the video. And then I'm going to show you, when you get your ribbon, if you want it to look... Um, more primitive because I didn't really want these edges, you know, real sharp like that. All you do is take your scissors and cut a little on each side and then just pull it. And this will fray your ends. And I'll just do it probably, let's see, I'll make a good size bow. So I'll cut it at an angle here and then you just keep pulling this up so that you get a nice fray. And this way, it will give it a nice primitive look. So I don't know if you guys ever, can you see how it's all frayed on the edges now? It gives it more a primitive look. So then I'll tie it around the bottom and make a bow once I'm all done. But I just wanted to show you how you could take regular ribbon and just kind of give it a more uh, primitive, rustic look. So. Anyway, um, I'm Shelly with Gilbert Marketplace. I just wanted to jump on and show you how to make these uh, grungy candles. Like I said, you can find um, more of the tutorials at Home Talk or on my page at Gilbert Marketplace. Have a wonderful day and stay out of the heat. <laughs>